We learned how to control our RGB system wirelessly using GET requests directly from the browser. But it would be more awesome if we had an app that would do that for us. In this video, we'll build an Android app that handles all that. Create a new Android app project in Android Studio. Name it whatever you want. I'll name it Client App and save it in a new folder called Client App. First of all, make sure your server is running and make sure you can access it from your phone's browser. Just type in a colors retrieval request and see if the server responds. Now start by creating a layout. Change its orientation to vertical since we want elements to be displayed vertically. For every color, we'll create a text view containing the color name and a seek bar, which allows us to control the color. The seek bar has to be discrete because we only take integers and the max values must be 255. The ID will be seek bar followed by the color name. I'll duplicate these views both for green and blue colors. And here's how our view will look like. Swiping those three seek bars should instantly update the content of the server. Now, let's create an activity. Make it the launcher activity. Change the set content view to our layout. And finally, delete the activity main that is auto-generated by Android Studio. Our code will talk to the server using HTTP GET requests, and for that, we'll be using the Volley library. So let's include it in the project. Go to the built.gradle file that is labeled module app, and under dependencies, add a new dependency for the Volley library. And hit sync to integrate the library to your project. Also, whenever you need to connect to the internet, you need to declare that permission in the manifest file. So just add uses permission android.permission.internet. The main activity is the class that holds all of our app logic. We need to import the classes we'll use. Then we need to declare member variables that will hold reference to the seek bars that we created in XML. Some variables to hold RGB values, a request queue, and a server address. The request queue contains a queue of all the HTTP requests to be executed. Then let's initialize our member variables. Next, we'll create a function that let us send color updates to the server whenever we want to. So we write the request just like in the browser. Then we create a string request object by giving it the request method, the request, the response listener, 
and the error response listener as well, since errors might occur. You don't need to focus much on the response listeners since there is no response anyway. Finally, we add the string request to the queue to be executed as soon as possible. If the user touches and change the values of the seek bar, we want to update the colors. So we'll call the on seek bar change listener to be able to execute our send colors function whenever the values of the seek bar changes. The new value is sent in the variable i. So let's convert it to string and update the red color. And finally, execute the sent colors with the updated set of colors. Same thing for green seek bar. And same thing for blue seek bar. Now our app is complete. Let's hit run. And as you can see, as I'm sliding the seek bars, the server is receiving requests and updating its colors. And that is an example Android client for our system.